There's a warning from scientists about a potential mega tsunami that could devastate parts of the United States. We're talking waves up to 1,000 feet tall. Yes, you heard that right. Stick around as we break down the science, the risks, and what this could mean for millions of people along the West Coast, Alaska, and Hawaii. According to a recent study by Virginia Tech geoscientists, published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, there's a 15% chance of a magnitude 8.0 earthquake striking the Cascadia subduction zone within the next 50 years. This fault line stretches 600 miles from northern Vancouver Island in Canada to Cape Mendocino, California. If it ruptures, it could trigger a mega tsunami, a wall of water up to 1,000 feet high that could reshape the west coast. Now, to put that in perspective, regular tsunamis might have waves a few feet tall. Mega tsunamis? They're a whole different beast with waves that can tower hundreds of feet and travel miles inland. Imagine entire cities like Seattle and Portland underwater in minutes. Scary, right? The Cascadia subduction zone is where the Juan de Fuca plate slides under the North American plate. This movement builds up massive pressure, and when it releases, it can cause what's called a mega thrust earthquake. The last big one hit in 1700 with a magnitude around 9.0, and it sent a tsunami so powerful it reached Japan. If a magnitude 8.0 or higher earthquake hits, the study warns that coastal areas could sink by as much as 6.5 feet, amplifying the tsunami's destruction. Southern Washington, Northern Oregon, and Northern California would be hit hardest. Cities like Seattle, Portland, and even smaller coastal towns could be submerged. Tina Dura, the lead author of the study and assistant professor at Virginia Tech, said, this event would happen within minutes, leaving no time for adaptation or mitigation. That means no warning, no time to evacuate, just pure chaos. But it's not just the West Coast. Alaska and Hawaii are also at risk because of their own seismic and volcanic activity. For example, Hawaii's active volcanoes, like Kilauea, could trigger massive landslides into the ocean, creating their own mega tsunamis. And in Alaska, melting glaciers are destabilizing slopes, increasing the chance of landslides that could displace huge amounts of water. Mega tsunamis aren't just theoretical. About 105,000 years ago, a 1,000-foot wave slammed into the island of Lanai in Hawaii, leaving marine fossils high up in the mountains. And in 1958, a landslide in Alaska's Latuya Bay triggered a wave over 1,700 feet tall, the highest ever recorded. Now, the good news? Scientists are working hard to monitor these risks. Early warning systems, like those used in Alaska after a recent 7.3 magnitude quake in July 2025, are improving. But the bad news? A mega tsunami from Cascadia would give people maybe 10 minutes to flee. That's why researchers are urging better evacuation plans and public awareness. So, what can we do about this? Well, preparation is key. The US Geological Survey and FEMA estimate a 37% chance of a magnitude 8 to 9 earthquake in Cascadia by 2075. That's why communities are investing in tsunami evacuation routes, shelters, and education. If you live in a coastal area, know your evacuation routes and have an emergency kit ready. Experts say if the ground shakes for 20 seconds or more, head to higher ground immediately. Don't wait for an official warning. Scientists are also monitoring glaciers in Alaska and volcanoes in Hawaii to predict potential landslide-triggered tsunamis. International cooperation is growing to improve seismic monitoring. The threat of a mega tsunami is a way-up call for all of us. While we can't stop earthquakes, we can prepare for them. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos on the science and stories shaping our world. Stay safe, and I'll see you in the next one.